Uh, how many people factored out an X first? Like that's the first thing they did. Because you can do that, and then you can still factor by grouping. I think that's the way I'm going to do it, because you always try to look for a GCF. I can't divide by any actual number or coefficient because this is a, just a 1, so I can't divide there. But I can divide by x because the smallest variable or smallest exponent is to the 1. Whatever I divide by goes on the outside of parentheses. So I have x to the third plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 equals 0. And then maybe you're stuck, maybe you don't know what to do, but you can factor by grouping. So really I'm going to ignore this x and just bring it along at the very end. And I'm just going to pretend like this is a factor by grouping problem and that's it. So x squared I can divide by. Whatever I divide by goes on the outside of the parentheses. I'm left with x plus 2. And then here, I could divide by negative 9. <coughs> Whenever the first term is negative, I divide by negative. Whatever you divide by goes on the outside, and you get x plus 2. You want these to be the same, the x plus 2 and the x plus 2. The shortcut was, would be just to write the x plus 2 on the outside and then x squared minus 9. But just for the sake of showing everything, I'm going to factor out what's in common. I can divide by an x plus 2 and I can divide by an x plus 2. Whatever I divide by goes on the outside of parentheses. So I divide by this, it's on the outside of these parentheses. These cancel, leaves me with just x squared. These cancel and leaves me with just minus 9. But this is a difference of squares, so that's what makes it a little bit more involved. We can square root both of these. I get x and 3. And then we use our difference of squares pattern, where you have two parentheses. One has a plus, one has a minus. x 3, x, 3, still equals 0. Bring down this x plus 2. Bring down the x. And then the last part, whenever you have an equal sign and it says to solve by factoring, that's what the instructions were for this, you factor and then set each piece equal to 0. If I set this x equal to 0, I get x equals 0 x plus 2 equals 0, I get x equals negative 2. x plus 3 equals 0, I get x <coughs> equals negative 3. And then x minus 3 equal to 0, x equals 3. So I do have four answers for this one because I had my largest exponent 4. My, I had a degree 4 polynomial. Question? Um, do you have to factor out from the whole equation or can you just start with grouping? You could start with grouping, uh, but then in this step, I think you might get x to the third minus 9x. And then you would factor out an x from that. And then, so you're, you're always looking back in your parentheses to see if you can factor it more. Right. So if you just went straight to factor by grouping, I think this would have been x cubed minus 9x. And then you would have factored out an x, and that's where it would come from. And then this would become those two, and you'd still have that. Good question.